Hello, hello, here is BB Walker. Welcome to my channel again. Today I get for you something new and interesting, I hope. This is Kawaii KDP 110 Digital Piano and this is Looper HC505 Loop Stations. And of course, instead of Looper, you could use another device to record or playing with loops with this digital piano. Many of you have, have asked me about several situations, how to record from this uh, will could be use USB or something. So today I will explain you the both setup with the headphones to playing, you know, in silence or with the speakers. So I will show you all the cables and stuff. So let's get started. All right. So at the beginning, let's go down deep to the piano. Here we get the phone's output. There are two phones output. One is a quarter inch jack, and this is one of eight jack. In Europe it's called 3.5 millimeter stereo jack. So uh, I have a cable which gives me a connection. It's two wire cable stereo, uh, uh, this one of eight inch, and it's changed into, let me show you in here, into quarter inch mono jacks. So you are connecting it to left and right of input. So we got the signal of headphones going from here to loop stations. Uh, unfortunately, in this model, there is no align output, so we need to use the phone's output. We don't have any other possibility. Also, the USB port is used only for MIDI. There is no audio interface like in other devices. So the only way to record is the analog output. However, you don't to be worried about the quality. It's really good. The, the, the socket is okay. There is no hissing, etc. Of course, if you have cable uh, called stereo uh, um, quarter inch to two mono, you can also use it. But I have this one, so I will have it. Okay. And the, you know, the further setup. So the signal goes into loop station and you can uh, record it. I will explain you and, and show you the examples in a moment. However, still there could be, um, you know, a question or maybe a misunderstanding or some worries how to, you know, have the uh, live monitoring, how to have the speakers, because if you connect it here, the signal is muted, so the internal speakers of Kawaii is muted and unfortunately there is no input, there is no auxiliary input or any other way to, you know, have this live monitoring, so because you, you want to hear what you are playing, yeah? So, to, have, to do this, you can use the phone's output of the loop station, because loop station has this great, you know, signal through, so everything which shows on input goes to output. And the basic first scenario is using the headphones. So you're playing and all the signal is in here. Of course, you can adjust the volume of the output and you can play loops and so on. The another way is to use the external speaker. So the external speaker works as, of course, the uh, headphones uh, and, and basically it depends what do you have. This is a JBL Flip 4 um, Bluetooth uh, speaker, but we won't be using the Bluetooth. We will be using the input called actuality input in here. And for do this, here is this one of uh, 3.5 millimeter jack. That's really disturbing with one hand. Okay, I need to switch to the tripod, so give me a second. Okay, that's better. So, basically, the idea of this really problematic. Okay, got you. So basically here is the auxiliary input. Of course, 
You can use any, um, you know, uh, speaker that you have, maybe an old cinema 5.1, you know, speaker system, whatever you have. And basically the cable that you need is a stereo, um, this is uh, this 1 of 8 inch, 3.5 millimeter in Europe. So you are plugging it in, uh, into auxiliary. And the second goes into phone's output. However, the phone's output is a quarter inch jack. So you need the switch or maybe you have a speaker system that could, you, you know, allows you to use a one of eight directly. Okay, and now I will enable the JBL. And we have this, you know, uh, live monitoring so we are good to play without headphones of course the phones the headphones you just sit down and, and play okay so let's try to do some loops for a demonstration purposes because, because and there is a little bit disturbing thing which is this um the speaker has a noise gate and there is uh, some kind of delay it's not a latency because this is not a latency. It mutes the, the sound a few milliseconds before it starts and then it's synchronized. So I will show you something. Okay. How could you use this looper? Of course, you can use it to record your performance on playing loops. So I will change the tempo to 100 maybe. Of course, if you are interested about the looper itself, please refer to the description. There is a lot of videos about it. And we also edit the rhythm and go to uh, record pre-counter and the first tick will be muted. So it is one, Two, three, four. some chord progression and then you know play with this uh, please refer to the video description there is uh, another possibility is how could you use a computer and MIDI to make this looping and then playing with MIDI this is fully digital audio uh, sampler so, so basically all this looping is in here as a wave file so you can you move it to computer to your DAF software and then playing with the and make the final arrangement or just you can do this final arrangement here because you have uh, this uh, you know slider so you can uh, send the volume and so on so let's record another take and uh, maybe some improvisation and then you know to give you some ideas how you could use looper one two three four
your knob. So I can filter the track I want. We could disable the rhythm. things okay so i think it's all for that for this demonstration video i was you know intended to show you the cabling the stuff that you can do with a looper in your home and digital piano and it is also the way to record the performance if you don't have a looper if you don't want to spend a lot of money for a loop station you could use a computer and line input in computer however there are a little bit bad, uh, worse quality in inputs however in this you'd have any other options. You need to record analog digital, uh, analog to digitally converted signal from the phone's output. So if you have any questions about Kawaii KDP 110, you want to know something about MIDI, or you have any questions about the loop station, please give me a comment and I will give you a proper video, or maybe I will create a special video for you. So it was BB Walker, thanks for watching and see you later.